Developmental Disabilities In most cases, the cause is unknown, but they can occur in any family. Cut across lines of race, education, and socioeconomic backgrounds. Throughout Cuyahoga County, thousands of people have or know someone who has a developmental disability. And when those individuals and their families need assistance, the Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities stands ready to provide it. With ongoing support and services that give every person the opportunity to live, learn, work, and play in his or her community. CCBDD's legacy of service to Cuyahoga County's communities and residents goes back to 1967, when through the advocacy of parents, the Ohio General Assembly established boards of mental retardation and developmental disabilities in all of Ohio's counties, and in 2009, voted to remove the words mental retardation from all of those boards' names. But we remain the same agency serving individuals with the same disabilities we have always served, just with a new name. For many, our early childhood centers, schools, adult activity centers, and group homes are familiar sites. But our community presence extends far beyond those facilities. We're in public schools, in homes, in recreation centers, senior centers, workplace environments from offices to factories. Wherever families and individuals affected by a developmental disability can benefit, wherever we need to go to help them be active, contributing participants in their community, doing whatever it takes to annually serve thousands of individuals, from newborns to senior citizens. While we may not know what causes a developmental disability, we do know what it is. It is a mental or physical impairment, or a combination of both, that appears before age 22, continues indefinitely, and causes substantial difficulties in self-care, communicating with others, learning, mobility, and the ability to live independently. And while we don't know a cure, we do know there are options. Those options form our underlying philosophy, self-determination. Our goal is to provide the opportunity to plan and control the decisions that are made about one's life, about contributing to the community, and about advocating for one's self. Our goal evolves from a person-centered process one that enables people to communicate their wants and needs. One that transfers the power of decision-making from staff members to the individuals and families we serve. The process begins with a support administrator whose primary focus is to work with individuals and their families to determine what services best fit their wants and needs. Then develop an accessible network of support within the community. Sometimes we provide the services and support. Other times we link with other community agencies. The nature of this support varies. It might be finding homes for those who can no longer live with their families, or those who are ready for more independence. It might be tapping into a wide range of certified provider resources in order to fulfill the basic needs of living within the community. And for those who are still living at home with their families, we help make available the community supports that can provide the care they need. Learning is an important part of maintaining quality of life at any age. Often the first guidance our families receive occurs in their home with a team of specialists. There, they're able to provide direct services for the children as well as emotional and educational support for parents. Our early childhood programs encompass multiple disciplines and numerous professionals to enable our children to achieve their potential. 
Today, most school-aged children with developmental disabilities attend their local public schools. So we have shifted our resources to provide our expertise to school districts and parents. There, students may receive specialized services and lessons, such as behavioral or curriculum interventions and various therapies, in addition to standard academics. And for students approaching graduation, there are transitional services designed to provide a career plan to educate students and their families about potential vocational opportunities and give real experience in the work world. Throughout the course of education, skilled and compassionate professionals are there to guide, encourage, share in the successes, consult with teachers and parents, work in partnership to help these students succeed in the least restrictive environment possible. But learning needn't stop in adulthood for anyone. That's why those in our adult activities programs have the opportunity to learn everyday skills and tasks that allow them to live independent, fulfilling, and enjoyable lives while contributing to the community. They can receive habilitation, recreation, and vocational services in many locations throughout the county. Or they may move on to employment in the community. When individuals come to our employment services, we work with them to create a career plan that helps identify skills, strengths, interests, and the level of support needed. This enables each person to reach his or her highest possible degree of independence and economic self-sufficiency. Community employment opportunities are available for groups called enclaves. Such groups may work in a business with a supervisor, or they may be part of a mobile custodial or grounds maintenance crew, or work at our River Copy and Mail Center. Beyond enclaves, there are also job placements for individuals who may be working in any number of settings. The success of our employment program is greatly supported by our ongoing relationship with our nonprofit partner corporation, SAW Incorporated. Thanks to our strong partnership, SAW secures and manages the work performed for area businesses and industries, both at our centers and within the public business sector. Play is also an important part of life at any age, which is why the men and women we serve are encouraged to join in their community's activities. Supported by staff, community agencies, and volunteers, we offer a wide array of recreational, social, and educational events on evenings and weekends. There's always something to do and enjoy in the local neighborhood, activities that help form bonds and friendships, and strengthen community interaction. There are also opportunities for seniors who wish to work part-time, participate in our programs, or volunteer in churches, preschools, and food banks. Parents who care for children with developmental disabilities face many daily challenges. Our Family Supports Program is there to help with any number of services that promote family unity, encourage self-sufficiency, and delay or prevent the need for residential placement if that's the family's choice. Such services are available for those in our day programs as well as within community settings. Our psychologists Nurses and educators can suggest ways to change behavior and develop new skills. They can offer counseling to individuals, families, and groups about health care and promoting healthy lifestyles. They can assess various relationships and educate people about appropriate behavior. CCBDD also provides learning resources through our Instructional Media Center, where books, tapes, and other unique instructional aids may be borrowed by any county resident. People with developmental disabilities face many challenges. From infancy through the senior years, they have the opportunity to achieve lives of increasing capability. To live, learn, work, and play in the community through the programs and services of the Cuyahoga County Board of Developmental Disabilities.